All right, we're back in Charlotte, part two today. We're gonna to be leveling the seabed. So let's crack on and show you what we're gonna do. All right, so we'll just have a quick gander at what we've come back to. The weather wasn't as bad as it forecast yesterday. So we're free to roam on it as much as we want. Didn't do anything like it said it would on the weather forecast. So as you can see now, the compost is washed in a bit more. So what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna get my rake out I'm going to just go over it and give it that level back and then we'll go on it with our feet and uh, tamp it in with our heels. So let's go and get the rake and we'll crack on. Right, so it's a similar thing to what we did on Saturday. We're just going to do a light level. We're not going to do anything other than basically get the fork marks out and just put the level semi back in because, yeah, like I said before, we've got to get on it with the feet and give it a good tamp down and then we'll get our spirit level and then do our final grading ready for the seed so i'll crack on and i'll see you at the other end Right, so that's all coming together nicely, nicely raked out. So what I'm going to do now is get on with my heels and do the old penguin walk. And then we'll be in a position then to get our spirit level out and do our final level ready for our seeding. So once again, time to crack on. Right, so that went pretty well. You can see it's all coming together now, looking nice and flat to the naked eye, but to the professional eye, it's uh, still pretty wonky, but we're not finished yet. So we're gonna get our spirit level out and give it a screed now, and then that will be our final level for our seed. So let's just have a chat in a sec about why I'm gonna use a spirit level. All right, so I'm just about to start leveling off. Why don't I use the rake and why do I use this? If I use the rake, I'm just going to undo all the good work I've done by putting the footprints in to compact. The minute we start running the rake through it, we're going to start bringing air back into it. And then when we go over it with our uh, spreader with the seed in, our wheels could sink in and just put us, stop us in our tracks a little bit and more seed will drop in early. So I go on my spirit level. It could be a plank of wood, it could be anything, but because it's aluminium, it's really light and really sturdy. And then we get our seed on and our wheels aren't going to sink. And then once we've done that, we can then go on with our rake. So hopefully that, hopefully that makes sense. Right, so I just get on my knees. I've not got knee pads on, so the knee pad brigade out there, the my knees, I do want them. I used to wear knee pads, but what I found was the Velcro on the back rubs in and creates really itchy skin. So I don't bother these days because I don't do that much on my knees. So I just get my spirit level and then I just, I can start on the edges and then just start creating our final level and this is why I use a spirit level because it just creates a lovely level flat surface for us to seed on. Yeah you might have a bit of a excess but what we'll do is we we'll use this to fill in the areas of footprint so I'll crack on and I'll see you when I've finished. It will probably be a minute for you but it will probably be an hour for me. So when I get this done and then I want to get my seeding done tonight and I want to get it covered. It's five o'clock in the evening. I've got about three hours daylight left. So I'll crack on and then we'll try and get it all done. Right, 
so nearly finished i'm really pleased with how this is looking now i forgot to tell you this process is it would be the exact same if i was to turf or seed it doesn't make any difference i would still do this same standard of leveling and stuff but you could just go straight on with this with the turf so i'll get this finished off I'll just do a quick scan for you over and you can see the final finish. And then in part three, we'll be doing the seeding. So take care and we'll see you then.